So let's go my gist because it kind of feels like you get me the sheep or the boat or the canoe that was carrying cross and angel at Omo. In my house, so go something's happening, so you're willing to discuss it. I'm talking about cross and queen. Why money? Is that money getting jealous of queen's movement with cross? We have to discuss that today, you my darling, and see. Hey, so if you know, I mean, if you like angel has added Pere in her kissing community like number of men she has kissed in the community it kind of feels like she has put Perry in the box how did we have sweet tea uh, today my name is omi or dick want to go this talk to your homie tv i love to give very sweet and juicy gifts and today ah, i have hot gist for you we have a target to get to seventy thousand subscribers before the end of september so honey if you're watching my video right now you've not clicked subscribe button or you're not part of the family i'm going to stop Go and subscribe but yeah just do this for me i'll appreciate it yeah please do this for me and give me thumbs up because it helps videos grow and let's jump right into the video oh, my darling hmm. where do i start from cross queen and angel now cross and angel have been like what's that word now they've been avoiding each other do you understand before before yesterday because this is like 3 a.m right now yeah so before yesterday they were good they've they're forming bestie angel said that besties are not supposed to be kissing but they still kissed and you know deep french kiss but i just noticed that uh, uh, they've now been giving themselves space to so the extent that friday night jacuzzi party that normally cross they go they you get me tap current they rock angel and see almost see and she was dancing beside him baba didn't even get close to angel he was just focused on queen dancing with queen touching queen you know getting on mushy with queen even kissed queen now let's rewind back to the morning let me tell you what happened in the morning that i'm looking like so this cross guy you're a pretty smart guy let me tell you what happened in the morning so in the morning now queen was giving um cross her domestic violence story really how her ex-boyfriend used to beat her it got to a point where the guy beat her beat her so much so that she had to run away and before then they were even planning their proposal in dubai uh, um, when the guy beat her she ran away she was trying to go and hide in one hotel like that the guy literally called her whole family went to the pastor begged the pastor like everybody was calling queen everywhere like come back home you get me and one day her pastor calls her she goes to the church sees her boyfriend's car in the in like in front of the church so the pastor was like you know what see he has apologized here you know he wants to change you get so she was like okay she was going to take him back so she now moves back even though she called police for the guy you she now moved back to the guy's place to the guy's house you know with the guy and thing but in like a month or two she left finally finally because he now moved from physically abusing her to emotionally abusing her you know and verbally abusing her like the kind of things that he used to say to her like when he's angry you just say you love harsh things to her that he can just literally come and take her phone when she's touching her phone and just be checking what uh, nobody knows there but his phone he can never allow her touch his phone or never at all so all this now cause was just very emotional like oh my gosh man queen you've been a strong woman you've gone through things you're very brave and thing now she now goes to her business side and that's something i love about queen every time she talks about like her plans and business wise here it makes me just look like okay i love this girl because she seems like she has a good head on her shoulder the girl is pretty settled like you know she has a foundation that foundation she has like a general manager she has like a pa she has staff working for her in the foundation now in entertainment space she has a, a manager someone that manages the affairs of the business of her entertainment life that's someone that's like a stylist that manages her styling and all that she also wants to now enter into business fully and that business she wants to have like a one-stop shop for like bridal things cake wine you get me bridal dresses which is a very smart industry like honey see that bridal space the money they make her take it from me i know i've been planning here yeah? it's a lot here yeah. she was telling cross all these things so like i see that right now she's not in she's, like, she's not looking for any serious relationship right now because she wants to focus on her business and her just grow herself first be like a boss lady do you get me yeah and so even though the boyfriend outside kind of feels like they might get back together but she's not sure and when she now achieves all these things that she doesn't mind though if she meets a guy that has prospects yeah and doesn't really have money she doesn't mind helping the guy with money you know, as far as he has prospects she'll use her money and push the guy and the guy will you know be established and thing and i think that was the one that just blew cross his mind he was like oh my god that's so smart and he now made a statement and said that hmm queen that if anybody asks him right now or when he leaves the house who is his number one favorite female housemate in the house he would say queen 
that it used to be angel that he actually likes angel but angel is pretty childish so he would say queen and so when i heard that i'm like i'm looking like hmm cross but you know something about cross i've come to realize is that i don't know man I, I just feel like cross came to the house to just get close to anybody that he thinks is valuable that's what i get from him it's like he's literally talking to you he wants to just know okay who are you who are you that, that i feel like he's, he's a very good networking person and of course who would hear this kind of queen's ideas and plan and not just think like she's a, she's a pretty nice person to have in your corner do you get what i'm saying i said that to say that that's now why when jacuzzi party now came when i realized that I, I, they've never even spoken to the angel and cross do you get me angel on the other hand is literally having her fun with yusef to me i feel like she was never even sent because as cross is doing his own angel is focused on yusef but let me tell you something here watching watching yusef and angel eh, talk i'm telling you eh, you can just tell that she's over yusef like you can tell that Angel is literally with Yusuf because there are no other guys. That's the vibe, I guess, watching them. What do you guys think? Do you think he's over Angel? I don't think he's over Angel. Or maybe, mm, let's throw on the table all the possibilities here. Maybe some cookie, I know, maybe not cookie, cookie, but like, he's been kissing Queen a lot. He's kissed Angel a lot. So maybe he wants to explore things with Queen. Or maybe it's just that day. Maybe they will come back tomorrow because you know how the cross literally cross and angel they're like they're like the same people here yeah, or persons so maybe whatever i don't know but i noticed this channel i came to come and tell you guys what do you guys think about this cross angel and queen matter going off of that year so this party friday night party yeah i told you that cross and queen they were together dancing even kissing and saying all of a sudden i see queen going to sit down beside white money and the white man is selling her stuff like that see that um that's why he's trying to control her everything she has told him that she wants to achieve that he wants to make sure that she does not spoil herself you get me because everything that she wants to achieve he has lived that life and what's like white money white money must have 91 lives baba you've lived all kinds of life baba now you don't suffer 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 even now everything that queen what like all her future plans you have lived it ha i don't know this is why i was this guy i don't care but that's what he said cha. that he has lived the life she wants to live you get me in here so right now he's trying to just control her and help her because me messing herself up in the house can hinder her plans for the future and she was like i yeah, know really that she hasn't she hasn't done anything stupid that if she went to do stupid things here yeah, that should have probably done things with boomer but she hasn't done anything stupid and why money was like who told you so you think that all oh, the whole kissing and touching you are doing is not stupid act. It's a very stupid act now. And I'm just looking like, why money? Like, why money? I, see, is it jealous? Because right now, Queen is really frolicking with Cross. Like, I'm telling you, she had, she's frolicking with Cross a lot. So I'm just thinking, like, is it jealous? Is he, is he looking out like an elder brother? Because he says that he sees her like, he, her like his younger sister. Like, that they don't have a girl in his house. So he sees her like that sister vibe you get me the same way he sees nini as sister but i'll just say like my white money do you play like i don't know when ha when the white money becomes supervisor of the house he can't get tiring man play your game leave someone to play her game because let me tell you the truth like i know queen can be crazy can seem desperate can she can literally seem crazy and desperate but whatever she's doing has helped her stay this long in the house and maybe Niger. so there are two things though the longer you stay of course the the more like people get to know you because you're you staying longer and the more your followership grows and queen is there to grow momentum followership popularity obviously she is so whatever she's doing has taken her to this point can you just focus on your game white money and let her play her game you cannot want to play like it just can get tiring when i just see white money doing i'm just like but i leave this thing joe ah now you now you sabi everything the other day when cross and nini had their fight my money was selling cross just imagine that no now he should not have had that fight with nini now that doesn't know that nini is viewers favorites you could just bear which viewers favorites no i want to know which and cross is not viewers favorites i don't know why money just see it could be that he's looking out for queen or because he said that if she wants to be like a socialite like socialite like just you know entertainment person and he will allow her but because of her plans he's trying to curb her i'm just saying man i get he's trying to help her but like you're killing the vibe man you're killing this whole thing Abby. are you jealous or what i don't know what you guys think you put your mouth in the matter man and let me now end this one with something that, very, that, that happened that was very annoying so while they were, at, were in the party now which is my tired of this being ninja while they were in the party the cameraman was showing us nini and saga right and then i could hear nini and saga in fact nini was shouting angel was most likely kissing perry most likely at some point perry grabbed angel's you know backside 
and angel grabbed his pp oh true i'm literally hearing nini say ah angel ah you have grabbed this so pp oh is it hard ah parents are grabbing the booty and the cameraman was focused on nini and saga and i was just like i don't i don't i don't get like i don't like what's up i'm tired i swear this is you ninja i'm not like like i'm literally getting to the point i'm just like i'm tired like i i mean i know that they want to do show max thing but like are we children cameraman now goes to the room like to the lounge here yeah? when this thing is happening it goes to the main house to show us white money in the kitchen why money leaves the kitchen cameraman is showing me wall i'm looking like how can you be showing me wall when i'm hearing nini say angel you're grabbing his pee, -pee. Ah, look at you people are kissing and i'm basically like what i don't know man and they say it's above 18. obviously obviously they want it to be exclusive show marks you're yeah, not paying show marks Shit, nothing i paid them for lacon show after like the first i think five episodes i didn't watch again Did you get me i'm not paying they should chop their bloggers will carry it i will watch it and when i watch it i'll come and show you very annoying yeah but yeah that's all that happened today has just been a very slow day in fact friday yeah was a very slow day right now yeah Truthfully, the house tense. Today is obviously Saturday. They are worried. Angel is almost sure she's going home. Like Angel is almost sure. At some point, she even told Nini today that um eight over ten is past mark is eight. Do you get me? That if she goes home, like if she gets evicted on Sunday, they are not going to really see her a lot. And they'll probably see her next during the Dubai trip. Like in her mind, that girl has literally been evicted. What do you guys think? Because this is the first week of eviction that I've seen people say angel must go angel must go normally like they are strong but i've seen more comments about angel must go but i kind of i kind of not sure because i feel like she really has fans i feel angel is one person who has like a lot of fans like her fans they are riding for her so i'm looking like do you think she's going to be evicted what do you guys think I, i've heard so many angel must go angel must go what do you guys think do you think she'll be evicted please tell me in the comment section my darling but that's either happened right like on friday my darling and um, don't forget we have a target to get to seventy thousand subscribers before the end of september if you were to this point in time you have to you are supposed to it is written that you should subscribe to this channel i'm going to stop just go and subscribe my honey please do that for me yeah and give me a thumbs up i also have a vlog channel about my life like behind the scene what i'm doing with my life searching for house in abuja is gosh like like <sighs> I, I i do not know that this will be this tiring i say like i do not know like just tell us it's just one comma do you know how many houses we have seen i uh, just one comma just one comma one comma it's tiring but i'm vlogging all the experience here so you want to check out my vlog channel called talk to your homie vlog i'll put a link down below to one one vlog go there click here and watch it and subscribe my love and i also have a special channel for i mean anybody who feels lost depressed like a failure you feel like when i'm a failure like life is just tough why is my life like your life is just not going well well let me help you i have a community for you and i well, i mean for everybody who has gone through that or who is currently going through that right now i don't need to die in silence there's, there's, there's no need bruh i'm telling you like me too when i was you know in my own depressed state i was looking for people to talk to i'm sure people got tired of me because, because i'll call you and no matter how you try to encourage me and make me see i could not see past what was in front of me so i know what it feels like so join the community i'll put a link down below to one episode of pennywise go there and watch it we're on instagram youtube and any podcast platform you know we are there go there watch it subscribe i promise you like this period i'm busy i can't lie you get me but once we've been i guess over Pennywise will be one channel that you just look at God and say thank you for making me find this channel. I promise you, you will. Yeah. So just go click it, watch it, and subscribe. Yeah. I love you so much. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.